So I'm gonna be showing you how I wash a car for a customer before I give it to them on a rental. So a couple things I'm gonna be using. First is a jet wash. I have this on a trigger gun that I got from Into Detailing. Um, I'll link that below, but it just comes on a quick connect so that I can plug my hose which is to my jet wash into here. And there's a pretty universal gun. I also have a long lance attached to it, which I can take off, which means I can get up close to the car and it's much easier. I also have these tips. I like the uh, 40 degree angle. You'll see in the video why. Um, it gives me a nice wide range. You can use any jet wash, but generally the more powerful and the more water flow it has, the better. I'm also gonna be using a couple of snow foam lances. I like to put most of my stuff in the snow foam lance, including the soap that I'm gonna put on before I wash it. So just the initial pre-soak to get most of the dirt off. That's gonna be able to go on here with my Quick Connect, super easy. I'm also gonna use this with uh, some wheel cleaner to be able to get in the wheels. I feel like it makes it a lot easier. And also some rinse wax and stuff after. So before I give the cars to the customer, I like to give it really, really clean, um, inside and out. Today, we're just gonna be doing outside. Do, I'll show you inside another day. Um, but it just adds that wow factor for the customer and they really, really enjoy it. We've got to find the balance between that and not taking too long. And that's why I like putting lots of things in the foam lance because it saves a lot of time as you'll see. Um, so in this foam lance, I just have some, some soap that I want to use up. It's not specific uh, snow foam, so it's not gonna be super foam or anything like that. I've also got a little bit of uh, all-purpose cleaner or like traffic foam remover. Um, again, that adds them both together rather than having to do two steps of snow foam wash off traffic film remover and then wash off you know unless your car is like super super dirty you know you don't clean it at all then maybe separate the steps but for me I'm washing them you know every couple of days um, and rarely someone brings it back super dirty so um, I can just add a little bit also you can change the ratios of stuff that you put in and also change the soaps they use some are more stronger than others um, that are used for deep cleaning and some I'll just want to use um, uh, for just a maintenance wash. For example, Built Hammer do some really strong products such as their auto foam, and that really strips off all the dirt. Something like Koch Chemi's Gentle Snow Foam is a lot more uh, more gentle, as it says, um, and it'll be a lot easier on the paintwork. So I'll use that as a maintenance all the time. So I'm gonna snow foam the car, gonna get all the wheels, the wheel arches in the whole car, and then we'll let it dwell for a little bit. So we're gonna let this dwell for a little bit, let it eat up all the dirt, things like that, so that when we jet wash it, hopefully most of it comes off. Um, whilst that's happening, I would usually set up my wheels, stuff like that for cleaning. Uh, I've got it already. As I said, I've got my uh, wheel cleaner in a firm lance, just to make it easier. But again, if you don't, there's no problem. You just spray your wheel cleaner and we can clean them. Um, I like to do, lots of people do their wheels first, as it's the dirtiest bit, so when you wash it off, uh, all the dirt flies everywhere, and then they do their snow foam or washing after, which is fine. I like to do the snow foam look first because I feel like in the same way for the car, it gets a lot of the dirt off the wheels. Um, and then I can clean them with a the wheel cleaner properly and it's not as dirty. So the snow foam does its work on the bodywork and the wheels. So this is where the options come in handy. These are really good for cleaning out the wheels. Um, I can get nice and close. Um, and uh, this is really good for doing a whole car. You can do the whole car with this. It's just up to you. I prefer having a little bit of extension. So it's not too long. Um, but click this on um, and then I will wash this off. So because the car's not super, super dirty, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wash it off now. You can leave it maybe up to like 10 minutes or something. Um, depends whether you're in the sun or not. If you're in the sun, you don't wanna let it dry too much. It also depends on the snow foam.
as you can see, the car is a lot cleaner. Um, that's no foam or the soap, just the initial soap I'm rinsing off. It just made a bit of a difference. Um, there's not much difference between this and uh, and just rinsing the car off to get most of the dirt off. I like to do the snow foam because I feel that, you know, if there are any stubborn bits of dirt and, you know, I try and go over them with a the pressure washer, it's just a bit safe for the paintwork. Um, but again, if your car is not super dirty, it's not going to make that much of a difference. So it's important to remember that all the snow foaming and all these, all these gadgets are not super important. You don't need to do them. Um, I would say, you know, investing in these kind of things are a bit, a bit better. They make your life a little bit easier. Um, rather than that, you know, you could just rinse off the car compared to a snow foam. Um, but if you're doing this for fun, snow foam is fun and it looks great and it is enjoyable to use. So you can see already that the car has lost a lot of its dirt. If we look at the bits that were particularly dirty, the wheels, the arches up here. Again, this had only been washed last week, but I had given it to a customer and it had become pretty dirty. He drove two or 300 miles in it, so it became pretty dirty, um, but it's not had any dirt sitting on it for, for weeks or months or anything like that. So I'm not surprised that it came off pretty quickly. All right, so now we're gonna do the wheels. The two things that we need is some sort of wheel brush to sort of get in the arches and, and in between the spokes and things like that, and, uh, and, and the jet brush, of course. Um, I'm gonna leave the extension lights off just because I like to get nice and close. Um, you know, it makes it a lot easier. But as I said before, you can just spray on your wheel cleaner or all-purpose cleaner, anything like that, and then work through, but I like to, um, to snow firm it. It makes it a bit easier. This is an acidic and one of those reactive wheel cleaners that react with the iron particles and uh, always smells really bad. So because this, this one does react with the, um, with the wheels, I am gonna just let it sit for a little bit and then uh, come back to it. Um, so I'm gonna do all four wheels and then come back, spray one more and then work through an agitator. So this wheel cleaner is from Built Humber and it reacts really quite quickly. So I don't have to leave it for too long. Again, the wheels are not super dirty, so I don't need to leave it for that long. So now I'm just gonna go over it and spray it one more time and then agitate it. So what I try and do next is just like wash off the any dirt of the brush. That's also where this uh, short trigger gun comes in handy. And now I'm just going to get my tire brush. Uh, this is a really good tire brush. It's from Interdetailing. Um, there's a lot of these around. They're really good, but it's got really good grip. It's not too big, not too small, and it's really easy to get around the tires. So I'm going to do that. Also with the tires, if they're really dirty, I might wash it off and then put some all-purpose clean around, around the tires and get another, another go on them. But as I said, they're not too dirty. So now I'm just gonna rinse off the wheels. It's starting to rain. It's never good when it rains. But what can you do? Again, if you're, if you're washing your car for leisure, you can choose when to wash it, but not all the time I have a choice of when to wash it if I'm giving it to a customer, it has to be done. And uh, I like to clean it relatively on the same day that they take it or just before if I can, that way it's cleanest and shiniest for them. So I'm just gonna go around. This short trigger gun comes into real use now. Um, wash out the wheels and then we'll move on. So now I can get my soap. Again, this is just another soap that I'm trying to use up. Um, it's not too powerful, not too anything, because yeah, as I said before, the car's not super dirty. Um, if it was, I'd use a more powerful uh, soap, like the uh, Auto Wash. But I'm just gonna put a little bit in. I like to put a little bit on the uh, wash mitt as well. This wash mitt is from, uh, it's a Microfiber Madness. Credit pad XR or something. It's really good. It's like a big large square pad. It makes it a lot easier than one of those silly wash mitts. This step is not super vital, but you can get some of the soap that you're using in the bucket and uh, put it in your snow foam lines. Um, get that ratio. 
and then you can either not put the soap in your bucket or you can uh, put on both. So I've got on both right now. Then this way, you can sort of put it on and then it'll be extra slippy when I'm washing through it and it'll be really nice and slick. Off again, if it's super sunny, you might want to be careful what soap you use or how quickly you wash the car or how quickly you soap the car. You have to wash it off quickly so it doesn't dry. So now I've got my uh, snow foam lance filled with some rinse wax. You can use any rinse wax. This is, again, just what I'm trying to use up. Um, you can see how little we used of the wheel cleaner. You know, you probably would have used more if you used the spray, to be honest. So, although it's more fun and easier in, in the snow foam lance, it's actually probably, probably used less product as well. So with this rinse wax, it's literally a rinse wax. So I'm just gonna spray it on and then wash it off and it should give the car a little bit of protection, a little bit of shine, a little bit of hydrophobicity so the water runs off. Not that that's gonna matter too much now that it's raining, but it's better than nothing. So it's done. I'm gonna need to go over the, each pan of the car once. So you can see that I've only used a little bit of that. So you don't need to use that much. To be honest, if I had that in a pump spray as well, probably would have used a lot more. see that the rinse wax has done a pretty good job of making it fairly hydrophobic and adding a little bit of shine. It's not perfect but what we're going to do next, I'm going to get my blower which is basically a wet and dry vacuum and if you put it in the other side it becomes a blower with some nice air. So I'm going to use that to get most of the excess water off because it's easy and quick. I'm going to use the hoover anyway to clean the inside so Now that I've sort of dried most of it off, it's fine that it's still a little bit wet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray my detail spray, which is some bead maker, which gives it a lot of good shine. And then I'm going to use my uh, drying towel to then dry over that and dry everything. I like to spray it on quite a direct nozzle because I know that I'm going to then move it all over with the drying towel and it's still wet, so it's all going to spread. That way the wind doesn't sort of take it away when I spray it. By the way, this is the uh, 
Quasar spray bottle that has a dual action spray. So every time you spray it, it sprays and then sprays another one. So it takes less time. Always saving time. Now I'm going to get my drying towel. Notice how it isn't a massive twisted loop drying towel. I can just use this one because the car is mostly dry. Um, it's really nice and slick to go over it and get all the water off. Once that's done, I like to go over with a normal microfiber cloth and just finish off any streaking bits or the, any other last water bits. Make it really nice. By doing this, you're sort of buffing off the uh, spray wax. A big detailer. It makes it really, really shiny. And I just like to get a final separate plug. I only use for the specific task for the wheels, just to go over the wheels, just in case they have any dirt left on them. Unlikely, but there's always been the dirtiest bits, quite hard to clean them fully unless you're doing a full on decontamination. So it's good to use a separate one. As I said when I was cleaning the wheels, these uh, 19 inch 10 spoke wheels take a lot of effort because you've got to get in between each one to dry and clean it. It does take quite a bit of effort and it's all worth it. Now a step that I find most people sort of miss out on when you think about is uh, having a sort of anti-rust spray. So in here I have some built handle atom back and this is sort of an anti-rust spray because I looted it. Really cheap, but I like to spray on the brakes and the brake discs. It sort of helps with the yellowing of the brakes and the squeaking of the brakes after you clean it with the wheel cleaner. So just spray it on the discs. And just make sure you wipe off any excess that might have spilt. Not bad for it, but you just don't want it to dry. Now the final touch when the tyres are dry is uh, to put on some sort of tyre cream. I'm just trying out a couple of different ones. I have one that I really like that I'll talk about in another video. Um, it gives it a fairly wet look, fairly shiny look, which is sort of what I'm going for. Um, but I'm trying out a couple. This one's uh, Satin by Auto Finesse, using it up. Uh, this one's quite good, it's a little bit more matte. Um, so I will put in a lot more and it will sort of stay white for a little bit. Um, but then once it dries, it'll be nice and shiny and it does last quite long. I think uh, this one you're supposed to put on a, uh, a sort of firm applicator, but I find that really long to do, especially when the tyres are, you know, not exactly flat and perfect. So uh, I like to put it on uh, put it on this brush, which I use for my other liquid tyre cream and just really sort of dope it on. Now, because this one's a tyre cream and I know that the car's going to be sitting here for a while to dry, uh, I can put on quite a lot and it won't be a problem. Um, it won't fling off or anything, again, because I know it's probably not gonna rain and uh, the tires are gonna stay like this for a while, so it's not gonna be driven, so it's no problem. But if you are going to drive the car soon or straight away, I would suggest putting on a lot less or doing it at a time when, uh, when your tires are gonna be sitting there and you're gonna be using your car. It doesn't have to be straight after the car wash. Um, or straight after you clean your car, you know, if you drive someone they get a little bit dirty, it's not, it's not a big issue. Whether you wash this out after, it's no problem. Um, but yeah, I just like to put it on, really work it into the tyres. Um, and then, once it's done, make sure to get in the inner bit next to the rim. Really spread it around. Make sure you get the bottom properly as well. If you're really doing this properly, you'd sort of do it and then move the car back so you can get right underneath the tyre a little bit, because not as exposed but it's not a big issue I can get right underneath her 
and it's done. And now uh, that has a nice finishing touch. It really does change the car, makes the whole car look shiny, you know? We've got the wheels and paintwork looking shiny. Might as well like make the tires look, uh, look like new and a good finish. So that's a good one. So that is it for that. So, you know, we fully washed the car. It didn't take too long to wash the car. We didn't have to go over it too many times, but we made sure that we properly, properly cleaned it. As I said, if you need to use some stronger chemicals, it's good to have that option, which I have. So, you know, if you're washing the car every couple of days or once a week, you probably want to use a more gentle foam uh, and soap, uh, you know, unless it's getting really, really dirty, which I doubt it is. I know for mine it isn't, it just gets, you know, some road grommets some brake dust that I need to get off. Uh, I'm going to be going over some more products that I explore in the future. I was just using up some, some plain soap today. I'm going to be telling you about all the different products that I use and the, and the tools that I use and what's, what's worth it and what's not. Um, cause been washing cars for a, for a fairly long time now and I've learned lots of tips and tricks so I think the car looks good uh, it's really nice and shiny um, I'm not going to clean the inside um, and show you that in a separate video um, and you know having the inside nice and clean is probably arguably more important to some people I know that I like to get it nice and disinfected but we'll talk about that in the next video so I'm just going to show some pictures of the car show you around it um, it's fully clean so I hope you enjoyed this video I hope you learned a bit if you have any questions just let me know down below and I'll answer for you Thank you.